Okay. What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. And the video didn't even start yet. Y'all the villains ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Fellas, y'all, y'all know my stance on um, I mean, just being very selective with who you're dating, uh, who you're sleeping with too, obviously. Um, uh, interacting with, let me just say that, who you're interacting with, very selective with that. Um, and I've also said if you're gonna date a single mother, uh, you need to hold her to a higher standard than you would a woman that does not have kids, right? And um, we're, we're going to get into this video, man, because, and I actually found this video a long time ago. I don't know why I didn't react to it. I probably, it probably slipped my mind. I'm not too sure. But anyway, um, we're, 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 going, we're going to go into this video, watch it, stop and go. Y'all know how I like to do. Um, because there's a lot of topics I want to cover within this video, y'all. But let, let's go. Gotta go. She gotta go, Tasha. I'm tired of it. I've been dealing with this for too long. She got to go. Now, before anybody got anything to say or try to judge me for what I'm doing, I'm going to tell y'all what's really going on. I can't do it no more. I done told this woman seven times to leave my house. Get out. It's over. I don't want to be with her no more. I can't be with you. You don't want to do nothing for yourself. She don't want to better herself. She wants to sit around and play the victim and act like I'm the problem. I'm not the problem. This all the stuff she got to go. I asked her seven times, get yourself together. I even tried to make it work. She living with me. I'm paying all the bills. She got her kids here. I didn't even accept for their kids. I don't even got no kids. Crazy. I didn't even accept her kids and treat them kids like mine. I love them kids, but I can't do this no more, Tasha. You got to go. She come in all hours of the night, whenever she want to, always trying to play victim, telling everybody, it's me, it's me crying to her co-workers and family. Listen, what did he just say, y'all boys? Lady Sue, what did he say, y'all boy? He said, I ain't even got no kids. I'm treating her kids like they mine. He paying all the bills, like he said. She ain't got to pay no bills. Or if she do, it's probably like, like, the, like, the, like the small bills, the light bill or small stuff like that. And this is my problem, fellas, about dating women with kids. At some point in time, she's going to look to you as her man. She's going to look to you as the person that needs to immediately step up and take care of, first of all, her and her kid or kids, her child or children. And that to me becomes a problem because I shouldn't have to pay for a kid or a child or children that I did not, um, you know, and I'm not the father. But let's let's put a pin in that. We'll come back to that later on. She's coming in all hours of the light night, playing victim, lying to the friends, talking about, oh, it's him, it's him, it's him. No, one damn well, no, girl, it's you, it's you, it's you. So what's really going on here? Is he the side dude? Or maybe he's he's the main and she has side dudes? Clearly, she's not ready to settle down. Why are you coming in all hours of the damn night? Your ass should be here with your damn kids. You shouldn't be worried about going out with no damn body. But she's doing that because, oh, I got a babysitter at home. I ain't got to come. I can come home at 3 o'clock in the goddamn morning. He going to make sure my kid's straight. Sir, what you're doing right now is excellent. I hope you change them locks. I hope you change the damn password to your alarm system. Yeah. Great job, sir. Saying it's me, it's me, it's me. Y'all got to understand, man. I'm fed up. I'm stressing. I just try to help this girl numerous of times. Try to help her get on the feet. And she just ain't got, it's like she don't want nothing in life. I cannot be with a woman like that. All we do is argue, 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 argue. She don't want to work. She pick her kids up, drop her kids off to her mama house while she go out and be in the streets all night. And I'm already paying the bills. And the up part is, I got a homie, his wife got a business. She was going to hire her on the spot. Uh. 
to answer the phone for her business. $20 an hour. He don't want to do it. I tell this dumb hey, my homie wife got a business. You know, all you got to do is answer the phone, $20 an hour. She going to look at me and tell me what the fuck I look like. I'm like, what do you mean, what the fuck do you look like? $20 an hour, you telling me you can't work for $20 an hour to sit on your ass? That's when I knew I couldn't work no more. Yeah. There's people that's not even making $20 an hour. There's people that's barely making $15 an hour. In Florida, I believe the minimum wage is $11 and some change. So she's making $9 more than that, depending on what state they live in. And she don't want to do it because why? She's lazy. She knows you won't take care of her. Or were, or, or was, was, as in past tense, taking care of her. It's really, really crazy. Really crazy. When these types of things happen, mainly because, mainly, because I've been through it, and I, I know several other guys have been through it too, but I've been there. I took care of my damn ex. Paying the bills, she ain't had to pay nothing. Hey, baby, listen, just, just focus on school, focus on, uh, on, on, on whatever you want to work. Cool, okay, cool, we'll go to work, do whatever you got to do. And she still wasn't happy. Still trying to run around, with, like he said, in the damn streets, doing this, that, and the third. I had to let her go. Clearly, I'm not the man that you want. Clearly, I'm not the, I'm not the man that you're looking for. So you got to set her ass free. I told y'all two and a half, damn, to three years ago. I'm not going, I'm not doing the back and forth. I'm going to have all your, just like how he doing. I'm going to have all your stuff outside. Locks will be changed. Call the guy that you've been messing with to come pick up your stuff and move your stuff in. I wish you the best. Have a good life. It's just that simple. That's her kids, sir. Uh, it's like, I can't do it. Her kids tear my house up. You know what I mean? I love them kids, my dear heart, but I can't do it. Sometimes you get fed up. Mm -hmm. I'm waking up. I'm going to work every day with attitudes, getting into it with my boss, mm -hmm. arguing with my employees, I mean, my coworkers. And it's like, I just can't do it. God, please forgive me for doing this. I never meant to be this way. Like, you know, you know, I'm a good man at heart. But sometimes you get fed up. But I asked her seven times to leave. And it's just like, I can't deal with this no more. I don't want y'all to see. I got her stuff out here. And if you ever try to come over here and mess up my house or anything like that, man, I already got my police report filed. So they will come find you. Don't come over here on my property. This is my property. Y'all see nothing wrong with the house, no windows busted. Nothing's wrong. Let me show y'all the side. So she come over here acting crazy. First of all, she's going to jail. Second of all, I just want to show y'all so that can't no, don't nobody say nothing like, oh, that was already messed up and you try to I can't do it. When you fed up, you fed up. Twenty dollars an hour. To sit down and answer the phone, you tell me what the f you look like. Like I'm I'm I can't do this. Your stuff is outside. I apologize, God. Please forgive me for doing this, man. I ask you to release me from any negativity or anything in my life. And my heart told me to do this. I love them kids. I do not want to put them kids out. But they got to go. They got to go. I've done too much for her and those kids. You have to go. I can't deal with it no more. I can't deal with nobody that don't want to do nothing to help better their life. I can't do it, man. And that's just what it is, man. It's like, it don't, it don't, it don't make no sense. God, please forgive me for this. God, please forgive me. Just forgive me, God. Please. This is my, my property. Y'all see ain't nothing wrong. Ain't no, don't nobody say your stuff is outside. I apologize. He's begging God to forgive him, and I'm I'm hoping that God does forgive him because and and this and this is something that a lot of women probably don't know or don't understand. When ladies, when we are in a relationship with you, we want to and we want to be with you. Let me say that we want to be with you. We'll do whatever we can possible to make it work. We'll stay as long as we need to. We'll even give you as many chances. Just like I said, seven he asked her seven times. We'll give you seven goddamn chances and then some. But like he said, once we're fed up, we're fed up. Which is the reasons why women lead as far as the divorce rates. Women file more, um, I think it's eight times more than men do. 
Because when we're in a relationship, we're going to try. Like he said, I tried to work it out. I tried being patient. I tried talking to her. I tried to find her a job. I tried doing this, that, and the third. She just don't want to do anything. And it's so sad. It's so sad. Kids that don't even belong to you can't even respect you and respect your house. They tearing up your damn house. She don't even respect you or respect your house enough to, uh, house enough to stop them from doing that. She don't even respect you enough to sit there and watch her damn kids. Fellas, why in the hell would you want to introduce or bring something into your home? And I'm, ha I'm happy that he owns every he owns his own stuff because, like he said, this is my place. Same thing with me. This is my place. My name is on here. My name is on the insurance. My name is on the goddamn lease. You don't tell me what to do in my damn house. This is mine. I have this. And if you don't act accordingly, your ass will be out just like how she is. She, how she is. Well, her stuff out on the goddamn side of the road. I'm so proud of this man, bro. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> Did everything the right way. Recorded everything. Oh, oh, okay. Just in case she, oh, oh, it was like that. Oh, they, the window was already busted out. No, ma'am. I already have video proof, video evidence showing that it was not like that prior to you getting here. So now what? I already filed the police report, all that, bro. Congratulations. You did an amazing job. But this is, this is what I'm be talking about, man. This stuff like this made me so proud. <laughs> Somebody out here knowing what the hell to damn do. The disrespect. Fellas, you will never be that child's father. You're going to be sitting here taking on all the expenses, none of the assets. All of the expenses, none of the assets. All of the expenses, none of the what? I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man, y'all be safe for her, cuz.